Hey guys, good morning. Um, today is a really special day. Um, it is Earth Day. And Earth Day is how we can do things that are going to help the Earth. Um, some examples would be picking up trash or uh, using less water. Um, those are just a few examples. Not throwing your trash out uh, when you're done with something. Make sure, making sure it goes to a, a proper disposal. Um, recycling. Those are all things that we can do to help the earth. And today, our video is not going to be over the math lesson. Uh, today for math, you're just going to do the review sheet, the little purple sheet. And that's different. We usually do the review what you know and the reteaching, but reteaching is tomorrow. So today is only the purple sheet. Um, but today for our video, I wanted to read a book to you guys for Earth Day. And Callie Jane is in this little um, book club. And I know some of you guys have signed up for the book club that Miss Whitney Wynn is doing, um, the Bookish Junior. She's starting another one in May. And it's awesome. We love it. Callie Jane loves all the books that she's getting and all the little activities that go along with it. It's a really, really a good way to, um, to help, you know, get through this time when we're at home and we may be going stir crazy. It's just a little extra activities that you could do. Um, but I'll get started reading. It's called Biscuits Earth Day Celebration. And I'm going to screen share and I've got the book pulled up online so you guys can you can see the book really good as I read it. Okay, so give me just a second. Okay. All right, so again, the book title is Biscuits Earth Day Celebration. And this is written by Alyssa Satin Capucilli. I think I said that wrong, but it's fine. Okay, let's get started. Wake up, Biscuit. It's Earth Day. Woof, woof. It's a beautiful spring day, and we have lots to do. We've learned a lot about Earth Day at school, Biscuit. Today, we are going to have a great celebration. Best of all, you can come along. Woof, woof. Let's get ready to go. Woof. On Earth Day, we celebrate ways to take good care of our world, Biscuit. Saving water is one way we can help. See, Biscuit, I must turn off the water when I brush my teeth. I don't want to waste a drop. Woof, woof. On Earth Day, it's important to help all creatures, big and small, Biscuit. Woof, woof. Sweet puppy, those twigs are just what the birds need to build a nest. We can leave some bird seed too. Woof! Come along, Biscuit. The celebration is about to begin. Woof, woof! We're all going to plant a garden. We can plant flowers, vegetables, and even trees. Woof, woof! That's the way to dig, Biscuit. Woof! With lots of sunshine and water, our seeds will grow and grow. Woof, woof! Good, Biscuit, you found the watering can. You found a wiggly worm, too. Woof, woof. This way, Biscuit, it's time for our cleanup walk. We can pick up paper and litter to keep the woods nice and clean. Woof, woof. Silly puppy, no tugging. Woof, woof. Biscuit. What have you found now? Woof! Oh no, Biscuit! Not a big shake! Woof, woof! Funny puppy, you are keeping the pond clean too. Look, Biscuit, I decorated a bag especially for Mom and Dad to carry groceries. They can use it again and again. That's called recycling. Can you tell which bag is mine? Woof, woof. It, this Earth Day celebration is lots of fun, Biscuit. We can sing songs and share snacks. Woof, woof. We
we can learn even more ways to keep our planet safe for everyone. Woof, woof. What? Woof. Wait, Biscuit, where are you going now? Woof, woof. Hooray, Biscuit. We can be good helpers on Earth Day. Woof, woof. And every day. Woof. Okay, so that was Biscuit's Earth Day celebration. And as Biscuit and his friend go through this story, they, it talks about many different ways that you can help take care of the earth. The first example the book gives you is turning off the water when you brush your teeth. So when you get the toothpaste on your toothbrush, you run it under the water and then turn the water off and brush your teeth and then spit and then turn the water back on to rinse. That saves a lot of water. Um, another thing I talk about is um, helping creatures. So right here, Biscuit gets twigs to help the birds dig a nest. And then another thing you can do on Earth Day is plant trees. Um, planting trees and plants give off oxygen, which is what we need to breathe. They take in the carbon dioxide, which is that yucky stuff that we breathe out, and they let off oxygen, which is what we breathe in. So we have to have trees. Trees help us. Um, they also talk about going on a cleanup walk where they're going to pick up trash and, and uh, paper um, and that that's going to help keep, keep the woods clean. And he even picked up trash out of the, the water. I know if you'll notice a lot of times when you're riding down the road, uh, anytime there's water, there's a lot of trash in there. So they're cleaning that up and grocery bags that you can use again and again. Uh, some of your parents might use those. I use them sometimes, most of the times. I don't honestly, just because it's, uh, I may not have them with me, but if I go some places, I do use the paper grocery bags that you can use over and over and it uh, reduces waste. And there are many many other ways that you can help protect the earth um, and you should do it every day we shouldn't just think about it today but since today is earth day i wanted to read this book to you guys and uh, let you uh, know the importance of earth day um, if you will check in the link below the video the little button below it the green one um, you're going to have there's going to be two things number one you're going to have a writing assignment that is due by Sunday. And number two is going to be a scavenger hunt. Now, you don't have to send me a picture of your scavenger hunt. If you guys wanna send me pictures of you doing a scavenger hunt, go for it, tag me, um, put Earth Day, uh, Earth Day scavenger hunt, whatever you wanna do, that's fine with me. Uh, if you want me to share your pictures, go tag me in them, go for it and I can share that little post. Um, but I want you guys to get out and enjoy nature, and um, I want you to help the earth in one way or another. Think about ways that you can help the earth at home. Maybe you live on a busy street, so you can't go out and pick up trash. But maybe when you go to brush your teeth in the morning, you turn that water off after you put the toothpaste on there. So you're saving water, and that's helping save the earth. Okay, don't forget the rest of your assignments. and. Uh, if you can, join us tomorrow at our Zoom meeting. Let me double check. The Thursday Zoom meeting is at 6.30 p.m. I'll send out a link if you want to join that. And then Friday, we're going to have one at 1 o'clock. So hopefully, um, if you can't do one of them, hopefully you can do the other one because I really want to see all you guys, and I know you're wanting to see your friends. I just want you to know I miss you, and I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying um, I hope you're social distancing and I hope you guys are getting outside while it's nice and warm. And I want you guys to know that I love you and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.